Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. And today we're in Proverbs, Proverbs chapter five, beginning in verse one. My son, be attentive to my wisdom and incline your ear to my understanding that you may persevere, I should say, that you may preserve discretion, and that your lips may keep knowledge. Discretion is another word for discernment, which is the ability to recognize right from wrong and best from good. God's word will give you an appetite for good, and it will also give you an appetite for goodness. So, if you wanna, if you want to make good sense, and if you want to be able to recognize good sense when you hear it, then read the Word of God, because it will give you the discernment that you need to recognize it to make the right choices in order to live it. And all those things glorify God, which is why we are here as Christians. Verse 3, For the lips of an immoral woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. God is very practical in his advice to men. In the rest of this chapter, actually, God is saying, Watch out for fast women because they will flatter you. Their lips are like honey. They will flatter you and they are clever and they know how to trip you up and you will never see it coming. They're good at doing that. Talking about immoral women. Four, but her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged Sword. God is talking about loose women here. God says that they are good at making themselves attractive. But in the end, if a man goes for it, or for them, then he's going to be sorry. It's the same with sin of all kinds, meaning that sin looks good before you do it. Oh, that's what makes a temptation a temptation, right? It looks good looks very inviting, but afterwards you wish that you would not have done it because you feel shame, you feel guilt, and there are always consequences of one form or another for committing sin, and those consequences are never good. Verse 5, her feet go down to death, her steps take hold on shield, lest you Lest you should ponder the path of life, her ways are unstable, that you can not know them. Her ways are unstable. And here you have someone who is given over to their sin, and her ways wander, and she doesn't even know it. And that is a dangerous situation for anybody to be in. Loose woman, sinful man, doesn't matter. Some people sin so often and so long that they have a hard time recognizing that it's even a sin at this point. Their foolish mind, as I have said several times in the past, Romans chapter 1, becomes darkened and their conscience is seared and they don't see it as being wrong anymore. Do you realize how dangerous that is? God is here specifically talking about harlots and he's saying that their love for their wealth and their love for sin gets them into all sorts of trouble, gets them to the place where they don't even recognize how far they have fallen because they are so given over to their sin and what it can give them in this world. Now, it doesn't start out that way. It doesn't start out that way, but you must work through the initial guilt that you feel the first time that you commit that sin before it does get to that way. You got to work through that initial guilt. You got to ignore it 
And eventually, if you continue to do that, yeah, that's when it gets to be that point where you no longer even think of it as being a sin. And evidently, the woman that God is talking about here has persevered through the initial guilt and any guilt that might have followed. And now she has gotten to the place where she doesn't even see anything wrong with what she is doing. And that, my friends, is a reprobate mind. And that is a dangerous place to be in. Eternally dangerous. Okay, study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible, verse by verse. If you'd like to be a part of Scripture verse by verse, you can be by praying and coffee break. You can be by praying for me and God's word. That makes you a part of this ministry that I appreciate very much. Also, when you take a break from studying with me, go to the front page at the BibleVerseByVerse.com, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Scripture Verse by Verse. So long.